So our first award that I have here is our uh, New York State uh, Excellence Award, all right, and that's uh, being awarded for having uh, some of the, uh, in the top 10 of excellence at Batavia High School. Uh, so congratulations on that, your first award uh, that's there. All right, I'm going to go to your next one. All right. We also have for you um, your president, President's Education Awards uh, Program, and that's also for ac academic achievement, uh, for being part of the top 10%. Um, and uh, we, uh, this has a pin associated to it, so congratulations on that, Maggie. I'm gonna hand that one to you. Uh, the next one that we have is our uh, Batavia Administrators Association Award. All right, and that was chosen by uh, all the administrators in the district, um, K through 12. Uh, and so that's somebody that's shown uh, outstanding character and academics right, right through elementary all the way through high school. Um, and so that's awarded to you. That's a $250 award uh, attached to that one. So congratulations on that. All right. I have your, um, the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, and it's in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is hereby presented to Margaret Anderson. All right, so there's that award. That's there. All right. Uh, up next, I have the Genesee Valley Secondary Principal Association. And so um, there were a number of students uh, in the Genesee Valley that uh, put in their applications uh, to be nominated for that. Um, and one from the northern schools and one from the southern schools uh, was selected. Uh, Maggie was selected amongst uh, a lot of good candidates. And so the Genesee Valley Secondary Principal Association scholarship goes to uh, Margaret Anderson. And that's a $250 scholarship attached to that one too. So, all right, I gotta get my other things out. Traditionally, we uh, usually have an awards assembly in our auditorium. Um, that wasn't going to work this year. And so we thought about live streaming it, um, but thought maybe a personal touch might work better. Uh, and so we decided that in person, we were gonna come and deliver all of our awards tonight. And so we have six groups of uh, five or six teachers and um, some community members in each group that are going uh, from house to house to give awards to our students. My privilege today to represent the United States Air Force and present an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So my privilege is a little bit about. This appointment is going to Margaret Anderson, otherwise known as Maggie, and is the equivalent of a four-year full-ride scholarship to a top-tier university. Appointments to the Air Force Academy are extremely competitive, with nearly 10,000 students applying each year. Applicants must not only excel in academics, athletics, leadership, and service, they must also secure a nomination from either a member of Congress, the Vice President, or the President of the United States. The Air Force Academy accepts only the best of the best. This year, out of 9,000 applicants, only 1,440 were offered an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy. Maggie will join the long blue line and become an outstanding leader in America's and the world's greatest Air Force. If she is successful at the end of four years, Maggie will earn a Bachelor of Science degree in her choice of 27 majors and will be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. For graduating cadets, this is not the end. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to begin a new adventure and take the skills and knowledge that you developed at the Air Force Academy and will serve in one of the 38 Air Force officer career fields for the next five years or longer if you choose. I really can't wait to see what great things Maggie can do. And without further ado, on behalf of the President of the United States, Margaret Justine Anderson, is hereby authored appointment to the United States Air Force Academy and will join the class of 2024. Yes. Um, it's always been kind of given that I was going to serve my country at some point. So this 
The Air Force Academy is such a great opportunity with its world-class education and all of its um, flying opportunities or parachuting opportunities along with their Division One sports teams. It's because I was intent on being in the military anyways, this is just the best door that I could walk through. All right, so we have our director's award uh, for your accomplishments in chorus. All right, and it's in honor of outstanding contributions and achievements uh, in chorus and choral performance. And I know you were in the large group chorus and um, in a lot of the ensembles. So this is, it comes with a plaque on this director's award. All right, congratulations on that one. And I also have another music award for you that kind of kept in the box here. All right. I'm afraid the pin's going to fall out. So I'm going to have you take the pin. Okay. And this award is for your outstanding achievements in instrumental music uh, as well. And so this is a, a special uh, jazz award that goes to Maggie Anderson. So you can take that. So like I said at the beginning, it's exciting for us to uh, be able to give Maggie her diploma. And I just wanted to say on behalf of me and the district, uh, we're really proud of you. Um, Maggie is, uh, uh, like I said, in the top 10 of our class. Um, our top three students were stacked very tightly together. Um, and, and Maggie was one of those uh, taking um, some of the hardest coursework you can take. Um, pretty much any advanced placement class we had, she took it. Um, she took a lot of college uh, classes on top of that. Um, in addition to that, uh, Maggie has, has shown great character at the high school. Um, she was, as you heard, she was involved in music, she was involved in sports, she was involved in student government, and uh, just was a, is a great representative of our school um, and couldn't be prouder that you're going to be serving our country. Um, you know, and uh, you know, we're honored to uh, be attached to your life. And so, um, I'm really excited to be able to, to give your, your diploma. Um, so the diploma says that uh, Margaret uh, Anderson has completed the course of study uh, prescribed by the Board of Education and approved by the University of the State of New York for the Batavia High School and is therefore granted this diploma uh, given at uh, Batavia um, in the State of New York. Congratulations, Maggie. You're an official graduate. So <laughs> Well, thank you everybody for, for coming. Uh, you know, I appreciate the um, media coming and, and covering it. It's just a, she's a great representation of the outstanding students that we have on Batavia. Uh, thank you especially uh, to, uh, to Mr. Sharp on behalf of uh, the Air Force for coming and, and joining us uh, today. Um, and uh, really appreciate it. So thanks everybody. I think crazy is the right word. I, I mean, um, this isn't something that we expected and of course educators go into education to you know in a live way impact students and to be able to have conversations with them in class and so we've had to adjust to what does that look like online um, you know how do we work with students that are missing out on things that they look forward to in the spring like their spring sports and senior trips and things like that um, I've really been proud of our students they've been resilient um, you know and you know, frankly, you know, this has helped them grow up, you know, and helped all of us kind of grow up and appreciate the things that we have. Um, and I think it's going to make them a really strong uh, group going forward.